Remembering old times, Achilles? Connor. Oh, yes, I suppose I was. Seems like so long ago. Who was the assassin this belonged to? Originally, it was John de la Tours, the first assassin in the colonies. Then it was mine for a time. Ah, the things I've done wearing that armor. Some are uplifting to recall, others very painful indeed. One day, I will hand it over to you, Connor. It is your duty to keep it. It serves as a reminder for how long our brotherhood has really been here. How long we've been protecting the people of this land. But here I am going on again. I know you appreciate what it is. Do you trust her? With my life, Captain. <gasps> ah, hello. Name's Amanda. You must be the Captain. Now, what's all this about, then? You stride into my bar off the piss and looking for officers. Days later, I start hearing whispers the ghost of the North Seas stalks the Atlantic again. The Aquila has returned, and I need her help. Nicholas Biddle now sails for the Patriots, captaining the Randolph. But the man is raiding up and down the coast round Nantucket, claiming it's a loyalist post. Where is he now? Speak of the devil. Head below deck, Mandy. It's safer there. I want to see this myself.
Randolph is attacking a merchant vessel not far from here. Your orders. We need to find out what Biddle intends, but we must hurry. What else do you know of Biddle? All of a sudden, Congress is a brand new ship printer, Captain. From British coxswain to captain of a colonial flagship, something doesn't add up. Heavy gust, Captain! Hard counter! That wind will push us hard up those rocks! Veer off! There's a storm coming, Captain. Feels like a big one. Well done, sir. That could have been ugly. Another captain. She's all yours. The Randolph has turned sail. Do we chase him? We cannot leave this merchant vessel to the mercy of the English. Why is Biddle doing this? Nantucket is for the Patriots. The company he keeps tells me his true allegiance lies elsewhere.
salute to us, sir. They're safe. What now? Pursue the Randolph. by the cut of their jibs. Where's the Randolph? He's gone, sir. Cut and run. Left us to deal with this rabble. But this storm concerns me a great deal more. We have little choice. Aye. Find your shots between the waves, sir. Then we must find shelter, or it won't be cannon fire that ends us. Mr. Faulkner, we make for the vineyard. I have never seen weather like that. It's rare, but it happens. You did well. What's bothering me is Biddle's a patriot now. Why is he helping the British Navy like that? Old friends, maybe? Well, how would you convince the Continental Congress the Navy needs more ships? The rash of British raiding the coast is reason enough to address the gripe. Gunboats at the vineyard, now this. Hmm. Biddle aims to be the first admiral of the Colonial Navy and is making a case for the need. That was some deft sailing, Captain. I was watching from the gun deck. What were you doing on the gun deck? I told you to stay out of harm's way. I'm fine, Bobby, not to worry. The people of Nantucket are surely grateful, and so am I. Glad you're back. <laughs> 